Hello everyone. So today we'll be discussing analysis of time series. And today we'll be discussing about time series, analysis of time series, importance of time series and the components of time series. So let's start with time series. So what is time series? Basically time series means we'll be observing a variable. Example, uh, we'll be observing rainfall during monsoon or the temperature during uh, summer season. So time series basically means we'll be observing a variable over a period of time. The period can be yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly or even hourly. So why are we doing this? That is why are we analyzing time series? Analysis of time series, it is basically a statistical device which can be used to understand, interrupt and evaluate changes in economic phenomena over time with the hope of more correctly anticipating the causes of future events. That is the purpose, main purpose of analyzing time series is to anticipate the future. That is if we analyze a variable or if we observe a variable during a certain period of time, we can anticipate the future with the help of time series. Now, let us look at the importance of time series. Why are we, what is the need for analysis of time series? The first one is it discloses the changes in time and the changes in the value of a variable that is when we observe a variable say for example we are, ob we are observing a stock that is a price of a stock we know that we'll, we can anticipate what the price of stock will be in the future. So it discloses the changes in the value or in the time. The second one is it helps in understanding the past behavior that is with the help of past behavior we can anticipate the future. So for a given variable example, if a variable that is low birth rate, if, if a variable that is if we are observing birth rate for the past years and if we understand that the birth rate is low, the government or the concerned authorities can take measures to avoid that. Next one is it helps in predicting, forecasting and planning that is when we, when we are observing a series of variable, we can observe it and we can understand the changes that is we can take steps towards correcting the correcting the wrong things okay so uh, government can observe the variables and it will help in planning and forecasting next one is it helps in evaluating the current programs that means if a current program is implemented by the government or the concerned authorities then it will help them that is it will while observing the time series that is while observing the fluctuations it will help the government to take accurate actions next one is it facilitates comparison for example, if we are comparing the rainfall for this year and we are comparing the rainfall for next year, it will help in comparison. That is, it will help us to know the percentage increase or the absolute change in rainfall during two years or a period of many years. Okay. Next one is the components of time series. So we know that there are four components in time series. They are secular, seasonal, cyclic and irregular. So let's look at each one of them. So the first one is secular trend. Okay. Secular trend is also known as trend. Secular trend is measured over a long period of time. That is over a period of 10 years, 5 years or even more. So since it is measured over a period of long year, small fluctuations are not reflected in secular trend. The example, examples of secular trend can be population growth or low birth rate. So we know that secular trend is a long term trend and fluctuation that is small fluctuations or sudden fluctuations are not reflected. So this trend will be either an upward moving trend or a downward moving trend. The example of upward moving trend is population growth. We know that in a developing countries like India, the population will grow each year. And an example for downward moving trend is low birth rate. So low birth rate that is the birth rate will be decreasing year by year. Now let's look at the type of secular trend. So basically, there are two types of secular trend that is the secular trend are broadly divided into two linear trend and parabolic trend. So linear trend that is linear trend means the percentage change or the absolute change will be a constant amount. So if a variable is increasing by 10 this year, it will be increasing by 10 again the next year. So such trends are known as linear trend and if the trend is not increasing by a constant amount, it is known as parabolic trend. Now we look into the Next component of time series analysis that is seasonal variations. So seasonal variations are basically the periodic variations but it happens within a period of one year or within 12 months. So uh, 
uh, we know that during rainy season there will be higher demand for umbrellas and during summer season there will be higher demand for air conditions so such demands will come under this component that is seasonal variations the demand will increase or dec or decrease according to the seasons now we'll move to the third component the third component is cyclic variations in commerce we'll mainly deal with two cycles that is the trade cycle and business cycle so we know that in a business cycle there will be four phases that is prosperity recession depression and recovery similarly in trade cycle there will be a there will be different stages so when we are accounting for variations inside a circle such will come under this fourth this third component that is cyclic variations okay now we'll move to the last component that is irregular variations so the last component of time series is irregular variations these will that is the things that are coming under this are irregular or unanticipated things so there will be variations if there is a sudden lockdown or a uh, or if the company or if something has happened to the company or factory then there will be an unexpected hike or a decrease in the production so such variations will be considered under irregular variations okay so today we have learned we learned about time series analysis of time series importance of time series and the components of time series thank you